Hey everyone, Red here and welcome back to another beginner build video. And today's killer, of course, is Sadako, which is one of my personal favorite killers. And just to quickly go over what a beginner build is, is very simple. You can only use the perks that a killer comes with, or they're free to all killers. That way, if a new player was to come into the game, just want to play Sadako, they'd be able to get all of these perks by simply only playing Sadako. So let's quickly break down today's build, and we actually managed to use all of Sadako's perks, so... It's pretty good time. First, we have Skirchuk Floods of Rage. Whenever a survivor is unhooked from a Skirchuk, all other survivors have their auras revealed for 7 seconds. Second, we have Call of Brine. After damaging a generator, this perk will become active on that gen for 60 seconds. The gen regresses at 125% of the normal regression speed, and you can see its aura in yellow. Each time a survivor completes a good skill check on a generator affected by this perk, you'll receive a loud noise notification. Call of Brian was recently gutted in terms of its regression, but still serves as a pretty good information tool. Third, we're bringing in Merciless Storm. Whenever a generator reaches 90% progress, survivors working on the generator will be faced with continuous skill checks. If they miss a single one or stop repairing, the generator is blocked by the entity for 20 seconds. And last but not least is of course Jolt, which we will probably see a lot for on the beginner series because it's just a very solid perk that is available to all killers. Putting a survivor into the dying state with a basic attack will cause all gens within a 32 meter radius to explode, instantly losing 8% progress and begin regressing. As far as add-ons, we went with some of my favorites, which is ring drawing. Condemned survivors will spread condemn to other survivors who complete a healing action on them. And we have bloody fingernails, which will increase the duration of our rejection bonus movement speed by 50%. So whenever we come out of those TVs, we're going to be going pretty quick. As always, if you enjoy these beginner videos, make sure hit the like and subscribe button if you haven't already let me know what you think down in the comment section below now let's go ahead and get to the gameplay all right and it looks like we have wretched shop for today's game good news with this kind of build i'm not really looking to go a slug heavy build we'll slug if we need to but i don't exactly expect the you know first time player of Sako to kind of go straight into a slug strat if you haven't seen that definitely check it out a lot of people have now covered it but we did a while back definitely worth looking at no window here, so there's no point in ever breaking that wall. We got two survivors here. Awesome. I'll take that. Do you think she comes out of that little hole? Uh, she does. I will take another free hit then, gamer. Oh, thank you so much. We'll continue this for now. See if we can get a little bit of jolt. Ooh, we might be able to actually get... Hold on. Maybe a little bit of condemn. Yes, we can. Awesome. Oh, we didn't even follow up the chase. Pretty sure she makes that vault, unfortunately. Oh, we must have left here. There you are. Early drop. Oh. That works, too. I don't think there's really any point in kicking that gen just yet. I kind of want to keep... Oh. This, this gamer is mind gaming herself. Go ahead and put her on a uh, hook right here with Scourge Hook. That means whenever they save her, we'll see everyone else's aura. No need in hitting that with Brian just yet. We aren't here. We will have noticed their uh, little rings there light up. But we are inside for sure. Merciless Storm. Awesome. Denying that gen. Fair enough. Hi. Thank you. All right. They're healing up right there, and she's running over there. We might have enough time to put this down. The nice thing is that Jolt will hit through Merciless Storm when it blocks a gen. Bummer. Let's go ahead and fake a break. Nice. That's going to be off time now, yeah. Another pally here, though. Pretty uh, nice. We weren't able to damage the inside gen. Ah, they did come back for it, too. It feels a little bad. Question now is more or less, where'd they heal up at? They were on this gen. We have one moving over this way. And one does have a tape. You can tell by the static. Are you going for this one? Yeah, you are. Hello? an early condemn would be great she's got a few stacks of condemn on her 
You can tell because she has a few, she has a static kind of around her character. Unfortunately, we don't have to say the best for last, so I think she's going to get it. Yep. Well, that's a bummer. But at least we got it down for it, so she must have been really close. That's one of the real, you know, great sides about Sadako. Even if you're not really playing Slug Sadako for, uh, or uh, Condemn Sadako, it still creates a lot of pressure when you have ring drawing and you're making the survivors heal a bunch. Especially now that, you know, Circle of Healing Boon no longer allows you to self-heal. Awesome. Merciless Storm going off twice. Ooh, wow. I am very surprised that hit me. Where are you going, Claudette? Honestly, if she held straight, she might have been able to get that. Hard to say, though. Well, she's not really the one I want. Might be risky to make it over there to the Skirchuk. So we'll do that for now. Condemn on everybody, so we're feeling pretty good. And we're keeping them healing for the most part. Bill just took a tape. Brian on this. That way we know whoever comes over here later on, hopefully. They got the save. Ah, uh, he put his tape away. Bummer. I couldn't teleport to that one. Quick little love tap for later. There you go. We'll let her go. There's no real point in chasing it. And we do have one here. Nice. You think we can catch her with the uh, fake? Yeah, it is such a good fake with Sadako. I actually fall for it myself sometimes when I'm playing Survivor. Because the animations are really similar. Alright. They got that done. That's fair. We have a lot of pressure right now, though, I feel. Just in terms of Condemn. And they're going to have to heal up Claudette, so... Hi. Thank you. Go ahead and clean, you know, heal that up later on. We'll go see if we can down Fang here. I don't have the good add-ons here for playing around this, but we'll try. I think she saw me, yeah. You want to try a mind game for, like, during the invisibility. So you want to watch your hands whenever you're doing a mind game. corner. Eh, maybe we still get Joel value. Bill's starting to take tapes. It's actually a really good thing to do against Sako if you're playing Survivor. Have one Survivor just go around and grab tapes all the game. Not sure if that's why Bill is doing it, but if he is, it's a smart move. Because it removes our mobility. And we have Claudette. Hi. This will work. She's on second stage. I only see two. Where's the other? Going for the save right now. I don't know if that's really worth going for, though. Bill's making his way over here. If the pallet wasn't still up, he'd probably be fine. I can't teleport there in a minute, though, if they heal up. Ooh, he put away his uh, tape again. It's a lot of slowdown once that condemn kind of gets rolling in. So that's the power of ring drawing as well. Easy peasy. We've almost two hooked everybody as well. A little bit of pressure here, but we can hit it with Brian. Hopefully get information on it later. Brian's pretty decent here because the slowdown's not really crazy strong, but the information allows us to know when we can teleport on top of that gen. Ooh, should have dropped it. I'll be taking a free hit. Skirchuk Floods getting great value there. Alright, we'll break it. Oh, she's gone. I don't really think it's worth chasing here. Oh, the other survivor got up. I don't know if that's unbreakable or someone actually saved her. Hello, Claudette. Pretty unlucky for you. And right about now is definitely where we start closing out this game. Miss a skill check here. There we go. Think we can get her on a fake? We can. I'm telling you, it's one of the best fakes in the game for sure. 
The animation is just so similar to when she actually breaks the uh, pallet. Ooh, a missed skill check. Oh, that'd be Merciless Storm, actually. If you don't want to run this much slowdown, though, or if you don't want to run, like, Jolt, because Jolt's going to be on a lot of the beginner builds just because it's great regression on basically any killer at downs with a basic attack, you can always you know, swap it out for Sloppy Butcher or any of these perks really for Sloppy Butcher if you don't like one of them. Oh, we are healing back here. We'll go for him. This works out. This pallet's already gone, so it's just a matter of holding forward here. We'll go ahead and take a quick peek, see if she ran off this way. If not, we'll pick him up. Ah, she did run over this way. Cool. We'll try and hide ourselves which way we go here. Okay, now we cut through. Hey, we got her. I'll take it. Overall, really smooth game. Ah, and Bill actually has Unbreakable. Fair enough. Now it's kind of just a matter of time. Yeah. I mean, he could always get really lucky and have Hatch spawn in front of him. I don't think that's going to happen, though. And there we go. Oh, but it tried to give it to him. Either way, really short, sweet, simple game as with any of the beginner builds. Definitely try it out in your games, especially if you're new to Sonico or you're just new to Dead by Daylight and this is who you want to play. If you have a killer you want to see a beginner build for, let me know down below. Or if you have any beginner tips for new Sonico players, let us know down below. Much love, everyone, and until next time, I am Red and I am signing off. Aren't you just gonna take that? Hope that you fucking fight back.